And now it's time to continue our two-a-day previews. If you miss the Leesville Wampus Cats at 6 o'clock, be sure to find that on our website. But next up are the Derrida Dragons. The Derrida Dragons entered the 2023 season coming off of a season in which they went 6-4 and four and made the playoffs, and they did so with a young and inexperienced team in 2022, and because of it, they entered the 2023 season with experience and a renewed focus on making a run. Yeah, so last year we had to play a lot of young guys. Um, I think we returned 15 starters off of last year's group that made the playoffs and had a good year, and uh, we're hoping that experience pays off for them this year, and they've had a really good offseason. Summertime went well. Uh, we're looking forward to the preseason. Expectation is to be at our best when it matters the most. You know, we, we, we try not to, to, to look at it, especially in the preseason, as far as wins and losses. We just want to get better each week and see where and see what happens. The Dragons enter this season with the expectation of improving on last season, and they're taking it upon themselves to put their heads down and go to work. It means a lot to me. Uh, we just got to work hard. Uh, we are very confident for this season. All the senior, our senior group is very excited. And we just we just want to win football games. And DeRitter knows that improvement doesn't just happen. Just ask senior Tanner Lestage, who knows they have to put in the work to make a run for the state title. Play harder than ever. To do something you've never, or to have something you've never had, you got to do stuff you've never done. We got to work harder than we've ever worked ever to do something that this team has never done. Which is hopefully, in my opinion, make a run for the dome. You know get a good little playoff run and I think this team has you know the uh, skills and the you know the uh, weapons to do it. The Dragons begin their season at home on Friday September 1st against South Beauregard. 